Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. Today's prayer, I'm calling it, Call on Your God. Call on Your God. I'm going to read Jonah 1, verse 6 from the NIV. Jonah 1, verse 6 from the NIV. And it says, The captain went to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up and call on your God. Maybe he would take notice of us so that we would not perish. Again, call on your God. Jonah 1 verse 6 in IV says the captain went to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up and call on your God. Maybe he would take notice of us so that we would not perish. Call on your God. I want to point out. You hear a lot of people saying, Oh, I put it in God's hand. God got me. You know, they, they put a lot on God. But then, if you or somebody that know him personally, you wonder like, okay... What God are they talking about? And you say, okay, they said they, they put all their trust in God. But are they talking about the one and true and living God? The God of the Holy Bible? Or are they talking about some other God with a little g? Not the God, God big g, the true and living God. Because... What happened is, you see, like I said, a lot of people will say, well, no, God got me, or I'm putting in God's hand. But their lifestyle says nothing about God. God is just talk. God is just, you know, just a name they throw up whenever they need. Like, a, um, just like, I guess, an um, emergency is something in their wallet you pull out, you know. Well, God got me. Okay, I'm in, I'm in trouble. God got me. And it's like, okay, are you serious? It's more to your relationship with God, with Jesus, than you or anybody else calling on him like he's some kind of Santa Claus. That you do nothing. That we do nothing. That we don't have to read our Bible. We don't have to pray. We just fit God in. We want to fit him in. And when we are in need. We call on him. Now. Just think for a second. You probably know someone in your life. It could be a family member. A friend. A co-worker. A church member. Somebody in the organization. A neighbor. And whenever you hear from them. You know they want something. They may need a ride. They may need some money. A lot of times that's it. They need some money. Or they may just need, you know, they may just need, I would say it could be something as simple as, as advice. They may need this, that. You say, well, I know that person called and I know what they need. Or you may say that person called, they must be in jail. They, you know, they only call me when they need somebody to bond them out. I have so whatever it is that the person may just call you for, not saying that you may not help the person. That person called for money, not saying that you won't give them the money, not saying they need to be bonded out of jail, that you won't go bond them out of jail. But it makes you think about your relationship. Well, who do they think that you know what I'm saying that I am? I'm human. I have emotions. I have feelings. You know, I would like to hear from them. Just because they love me. Not because what I can do for them. Because I can run and go get them out of jail. I can loan them $10. Or give them to, I can give them a ride. I would like for them just to say hello sometimes. You know. Or just you know whatever. Just have some type of relationship. More than you giving to them all the time. And they do nothing. They don't even acknowledge you until they need something. And so. What do we think about the law we're made you know saying in his image what do we think about god you th how do you think that makes god feel that he has a person he has his his children 
and we pay no attention to him until we are in need. And when we are in need, we want him to, you know, just to drop and stop everything and stop blessing everybody else and do it right now. I need it done today. You know, Lord, I need it done right now. I know I, I haven't talked to you. You know, I, I don't even acknowledge you, but I need it done right now. You know, hold up everybody else's um, blessing and prayer because I need it, need this here answer to, to today. And I'm not saying that God will or won't answer because God is a gracious God. He's an awesome God. All I'm saying is, it's nothing like calling on your God when you got a relationship with him. It's nothing like a person calling you and you got a relationship with them. A person call you, they call you, that's the phone, they just call, see how you're doing. They call to the, the, um, the, the tell you whatever holiday it is, happy whatever it is, happy, you know, Thanksgiving or happy Christmas, whatever they may have, happy Valentine's Day. Or, you know what I'm saying, they saying they just call, calling you because they thought about it. I thought about you, you crossed my mind. You know, I'm just, I can't, you know what I'm saying, or... Just whatever they got, they acknowledge you, or they cause you know what? I'm just calling you. They say thank you, thank you for being a friend. I'm just telling you, just just thank you, thank you for being a sister, a mother, or just whatever it is. They just call because they love you. They appreciate all the things that that you can do for them or how you help them, but they love you. No strings attached. They love you, and so that is awesome. That is like such a you know saying a great relationship when someone can just talk to you they love you they want to be around you they want to talk to you they think how you are higher but it makes you feel good i don't care if you got a million dollars a billion dollars whatever trillion dollar whatever person may have no one wants to be called on like their bank just okay i'm just gonna call you because i need money how you think that make a person feel? And the person where well, they know they got it, they my, you know, saying they my neighbor and they know I, I'm in need and they, you know, no, they know I'm their cousin, I'm their third cousin. They know that's what I need. No, not saying the person won't give it to you because, like, you know what they, 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 they knew your mother and it's like, you know what, his or her mother was a, a good person, so I'm just gonna bless them because, you know, of their mother. It just works so much better if that person had a relationship. So all I'm saying is, a lot of people say call, call. Um, they call on God. Just make sure your actions say who your God is, and not just talk. And by showing your action of God, you do what God's word says. But you can't do what God's word says if you don't know what it says. If you don't ever read it, you don't ever pick up, you don't ever watch or listen to it, or however you either hear a sermon or go. You know, you just. You just exist until you need God. And when the captain came to Jonah, the captain was like, well, everybody calling their God. Maybe somebody got the answer. But Jonah was dealing with the, the true living God. So you could be in a situation or a group of people could be in a situation and they're calling on, on God. It's like, okay, God's not answering that prayer because they don't even have a, a, a relationship with them. You know, don't, don't even, you know, it's just like, okay, this don't even have a relationship god could answer you know because that's the kind of stuff that I mean like i said i'm not god and not trying to say what god will and won't do but what i i do know that in any relationship you have a give and take no one wants a one-sided relationship and so what do we think about god that all we want him to do is just bless us we ain't got to pay him no attention until we're in need and so the captain was just like, you know what? Everybody calling that guy. You know, we in a jam. We in a jam. But Jonah was dealing with the true and living God. So you, me, anybody that says they love the Lord, he should be number one in our life. So when we call on him, it won't be like, okay, here, here goes so-and-so. She call him anytime she get in a, a jam. But I don't hear anything from him. Anything from him unless you're in jam. No one likes that. And so but a lot of times we do it to God without even know. It. Because sometimes we're not taught. We don't realize we should be talking to God. We say, you know what? We'll say God for Sunday or for Saturday or whenever a person go to church or once a month or that two times a year. You no, know, some people go to church or you know they 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 seek the God. You no, know, was it uh Christmas and Easter, however, so, you know that that took twice a year uh Christian I'm gonna go ahead or hear a sermon or word. 
it's so many ways, so many avenues now that you can hear God's word. You got you no know, tell uh, telephones. You got uh, people doing like conference calls. You got uh, all social media. People doing sermons on there. You you got uh, at your church service. People like um, doing like a parking lot um, a parking lot um, sermons. You can pull up. You don't have to get out your car. You know you got YouTube. You got so much and so many ways to get God's word. And if you have no other way, you have the Bible. And if you don't have the Bible. Go and buy your Bible. And if you can't afford one of those expensive new bottles and um, Bible in some of these stores because they have them, like, really high, go to a thrift store and get you a used, um, a used Bible. And so just to or save your money up and get, get you a study Bible. All I'm saying is when you call on God, it's just a plus. That's all I'm saying. It is a plus to have a relationship, a true relationship, a walk and I'm not saying, I'm, and I'm stressing, I'm not saying that God don't answer people's prayers because of this or because of that. Because God is a God full of love. He's full of mercy. He's full of grace. But what I'm saying is that we have to have a relationship with the living God. We have to acknowledge him. We have to work at our relationship. We have to read his word. We have to apply it to our life. We just can't exist and just do nothing and say that God's the one in our life because it takes some work on our part on your part on my part in this journey that's all I'm saying so call on your God call on him anytime you need anytime you want but while you're calling on him make sure you just talk to him you just pray you just praise him you just thank him just tell him you love him so, that's all I'm saying. I'm going to pray. Father, I come to you. Stand on Jonah 1, and verse 6. In your word, it says, The captain went to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up and call on your God. Maybe he would take notice of us so that we would not perish. Father, may your Holy Spirit continue to have me to grow on this journey. May the things that you have in the Bible, the Bible promises, the things that, that I should do and I not be doing. May I continue to grow in these things and so that I can just be the vessel that you need me to be. Father, thank you for answering um, my prayers. Thank you for answering some um, prayers when I just wasn't doing what I should be doing. And for Father, just thank you for just being a gracious God, a God full of love and full of mercy and just just being a true and living God and showing yourself and showing yourself mighty. So, Father, I thank you and I, I love you. And may I just continue to grow in this journey. And may I continue to walk and grow and grow and grow and grow and be the brightest light that I can be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And so, like I said, with that, uh, you're calling your God. Like I said, I'm going to stress again. I'm not saying that God, you know, because I know God, because he's Grace is one stressed out that the body take this the wrong way. That God can answer who He wants to answer at any time. Maybe He's trying to get someone attention. All I'm saying is that in a relationship, it should be give and take. And sometimes we just um, we get to a place we just want to take from God. And we and we have this whole mixed up you know idea that God is there and He's like a Santa Claus and we don't have to do anything. We just um. We accept Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, and we got our salvation sealed. But then we wonder why some of these um, promises are not coming true in our life. You know, why are we always struggling here? You know, we've been struggling here, struggling there. You, you can't get this right there. But because we don't put in any time. We don't put in any effort. We just live life. We live how our flesh tells us to live. We let our flesh dictate us. And like I said, that God is a gracious God. I just want to keep stressing that he's full of mercy. But grow your relationship, grow it, grow it, grow it, and be the uh, brightest light you can be. But in order to do that, we have to do our part. If you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is continue to grow that relationship. 
Grow it, grow it, grow it. Remember, this is a journey. Be the brightest light you can be. Be the vessel that God needs you to be. Acknowledge Him daily. Talk to Him. Thank Him daily. You know, um, let Him know how important He is in your life by your action. Say, Lord, you know, I see my salvation, but I want more. I want, I want all the promises in Your Word. And read your Bible. Apply what you read to your life. Ask God for knowledge and wisdom and the ability to apply it to your life and apply it to others so that you can help others. Be a living testimony. Point people to Christ. Let people know that He is real. Let them know what He has done in your life. Read your Bible. Walk in obedience and pray, pray, pray. I'm Dr. Lee. Thanks for watching. Let go. Let God in. Keep it moving. Take care.